If we could ever get a clear picture of the greatness of our Lord, I believe we would all be on our faces before him right now. If we could somehow see, really see who Jesus is, I believe we would have no choice but to abandon ourselves to him completely. How can I tell you about Jesus? I could start with the ancient prophecies that told of a little town called Bethlehem where a virgin would give birth to a son and call his name Emmanuel. Or I could tell you the night those prophecies came true. The night a huge star filled the Bethlehem sky with light and shepherds in a field nearby were confronted by an angel who said, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy for all people. For today is born unto you in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. The shepherds hurried off to see for themselves, and they found it exactly as the angel had said, Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. I could tell you his life, how he walked the dusty roads of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues, telling people of God's love and healing everyone who came to him. The sick, the blind, the lame, the lonely, and all those in sin. I could show you his miracles, turning water into wine, raising the dead, walking on the water. Or I could simply let you see the lives of those he touched, the men and women who found hope and forgiveness and new life in him. I would have to let you see his last days of suffering. How he was betrayed by one friend and denied by another. How he was arrested by Roman soldiers who wrapped him in a purple robe. They pressed a crown of thorns upon his head. They spit on him and mocked him and beat him in the face until he was unrecognizable. Then when he was so weak he could hardly stand. They made him carry his own cross to a place called Calvary where they drove great nails into his hands and his feet. They lifted him on a cross above the angry crowd below. After hours of agony, struggling just to get a breath, he cried out, My God! My God! Why have you forsaken me? Then the veil of the temple was ripped from top to bottom. And as Jesus died, the greatest of a triumph ever sounded in the ears of a startled universe was heard. It is finished! But the story doesn't end there. There is a borrowed tomb and a massive stone that seals its opening. Come with me there and keep watch. The first day, as we relive the brutal death, he died. The second day, feeling the pain of our loss. And on the third day, the third day, something strange is happening. Beneath our feet, the earth is trembling. Suddenly our eyes are blinded by a brilliant light. And then we see an angel pushing back the stone. Breathlessly we watch as Jesus comes forth in awesome power and majesty. A great wave of worship washes over us that we cannot contain. We cry out with all creation, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy is the one who was dead and is now alive again. And let every knee bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, and on the sea. And let every tongue proclaim that Jesus Christ 